makes me crazy I dream about a baby Gazing on days and contagious show my baby Okay, we're gonna check out Queen. The title <laughs> song is Dragon Attack. Oh, that's just that's just such a mean bass. That bass is just mean and you on know, that song. It's such a catchy, yeah, bass line. Yeah, <laughs> that was you like see us both sitting here nodding to it. That probably was like the most distinct thing that I could think of when the song first came on with yeah. that bass. I was like, oh, I, I know they're gonna try this song up like, for real. <laughs> yeah, but this almost sounds like a younger Fred Mercury and Queen. This particular song. I don't know if it's just the way that it sounds, like like the recording is or whatnot. I think it's probably the way it sounds because I was thinking the same thing. He he definitely sounds a lot a lot younger. Yeah, he just sounds younger. This. Yeah, because he sounds different than than like how we, like how I would think we would hear Freddie Mercury on on a song. Yeah, like this. but yeah, he sounds different. And this one sounds more like heavier rock. Look how just, young he looks. Or just though. more rockish. That's that too. He looks like a, like a very young. Look, they got on all the, the all the black uh, jackets, looking like some little greasers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. Oh, uh, but yeah, but yeah, I'm already right now. The bass, the bass is killing it with the guitar. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, see, I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that little change up, that little breakdown. And I, I think we heard it right there. But I'm, I'm just trying to tell you, like, Queen, just the way that they, the, it's almost like they kind of, like, innovated, innovated like, a, a particular sound, like, when it comes to, like, rock music. Especially, like, having someone who does vocals, like Freddie Mercury. Mm -hmm. I feel like they really, really kind of, like, li like, lay, like, the groundwork. Yeah, For, like, a particular sound. And no, nobody can definitely, like, duplicate it. Nobody can, like, replicate what they've done. And you definitely can't replicate or duplicate a Freddie Mercury either. No. You know what I mean? Absolutely not. Period. Nobody. You know what I mean? <laughs> Nobody. But I'm telling you, the, the, the bass in this one is mean. Yeah. Like, the bass riff is mean, 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 mean. <laughs>
Say, let me see something real quick. Man, I'm trying to tell you, like, the riff, the bass line of this song right here, literally, literally was just, gave me life. I'm trying to tell you, like, just just all the way around. And like I said, like, this, like Queen sound, yeah. the way Freddie Mercury, uh, especially, like, the way he has, like, like I said, like, the break. Like, we had that break in there, and then he started singing. Like, I've never heard anybody else, like, in rock really do that, especially when we listen to, like, older rock. Yeah. Like, I, n I never hear anybody that has, like, these breaks in the middle of the music, and it just changes up the pace. And a lot of times, it's like Freddie Mercury doing something, some type of arrangement with his voice, some type of, just something. Throwing something something extra in there, and then it goes back. But I, I've never heard of, like, somebody doing it in a lot of songs. And I feel like that's one of the parts of, like, the songs that, that's, that's parts of songs that people, I, I feel like sometimes people may not completely hone in on, but... Yeah. I really like how he always, they always had like this nice little switch and change up in the song right there where it just kind of like hit the brakes and then it's like Freddie Mercury does something then it kind of goes back to the song. Yeah, for some reason too, I was thinking like, you know, in terms of the music itself, it, it almost had like a, a very <clears throat> funk flair to it. It was that, funky, that, yeah. Da, 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 da. I'm glad you said that, pointed that out too because it did. <laughs> it like had, real, yeah, a real like funk flavor taste to it. That's a different, that's different. I feel like that's different than any any Queen song that we've heard before mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. funk like that. I almost feel like, go ahead. But, well, I was just going to, just in terms of, of them being in the in the rock genre in general, like their element, I feel like the, most of the Queen songs that we've heard have been more geared towards rock. Mm-hmm. But nothing like that before. So that's Because it was different. funky, like you said. So I wonder, like, you know, if that was kind of, I mean, obviously, you know, I don't I don't know when Queen was formed, but I'm just wondering, like, looking at them on this picture, like, if that kind of was, like, their groove back then. Like, that was what brought them, what brought them in, you know? One thing, one thing, I, one thing I can definitely tell you for yeah. sure is this song, it, it made for, like, a great, like, jam session. Like, I could hear them, like, just jamming out. To this song or to this like riff and that bass line. Oh, another and one bites the dust. What's that? Okay. The, talking about the song, another yeah. one bites the dust. Yeah. But I can definitely hear them like jamming, like having like a jam session, like creating this song, and they just and they just playing that riff and that bass line for like an hour straight and just jamming out because it's just that mean, it's just that funky and just that catchy. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and I, I feel like it's undeniable that, that that's like an undeniable riff where I. I I almost feel like you can't get that out your head. That one in particular, yeah. I would say, yeah. You can't get it out of your head, and I feel like those are the ones that stick. Right. When you can't get that riff out your head, or you can't get that bass line out your head. I feel like that's the one that sometimes stick for people, and they're like, oh, we got to do something with that. That's just it's just something about that. You got you to gotta put something together with that, okay? Make something happen. Mm -hmm. Put something with something, make something. You got to. <laughs> Like that, you got to. It is very, very important that you do so. Lust in your body, boy, I'm addicted. Insisting commitment, predicted your intentions. I've waited too 